my Padawans, and welcome. My name is Heather Miller, and I work for Haymarket Gainesville Community Library. You may have seen me pod racing under the two sons of Tatooine, or at a bar in Mose Isley, or maybe even teaching some lightsaber fighting courses. Today, though, I'm going to be teaching you something very different than how to dispatch an enemy. For those of you who are still in training, and have not yet traveled for a long time to parts of the galaxy that are far, far away, please keep your spirits in storage in your cargo ship. For those of you who have, don't try to make the Kessel run under 12 parsecs under the influence. You're not going to even make it one. Today, we'll be making something out of Lecomte's Geek's Cookbook, a heavily modified Skywalker Vereen. Sometimes, when you're on the planet Hoth, you don't have many options on your ingredients, so I pre-imported some of mine. For this recipe, you'll need a custard and cream base, your choice of cream flavor for whether or not you want to stray onto the dark side, some rum, cream for whipping, and a funnel for your whipped cream, several cookie lightsabers, your choice of kyber crystal, I'll be using a green one today, channeling the energy of the Jedi Counselor. First, put your cream and custard into your dish. Make sure the cream and alcohol you're using for whipping has been chilled for at least a few earth hours. Pour it all in. If you're strong enough with the force, use that to whip your cream. Otherwise, use a machine. When that still takes too long, smuggle some cream on your Millennium Falcon and put a cherry on top to claim it as your own. Choose your lightsaber and ensure it makes the proper hum. And after all that, there you have it, a heavily modified Skywalker Vereen, an excellent dessert for any planet. Thank you for joining us today, and stay tuned next month for more bookish beverages and dastardly drinks. Until then, take a break from your training and have a treat. One bite will blow your mind like Alderaan.